enjoy the idea of martial arts on the big screen in all its glory? If so, be ready because a sequel to Mortal Kombat is coming sooner than we expected. According to a recent report, Mortal Kombat 2, the follow-up to New Line Cinema's Mortal Kombat movie from 2021, and the most recent adaptation of the legendary fighting game series is still in the works with the production company. Simon McCoy, who directed the first film, will take over for the action-adventure sequel. This new report confirms that the two movies will share the same director, despite the fact that a new writer will be working on the project. McCoy, an Australian director who has a strong background in commercial directing and also has worked with companies like Xbox and PlayStation, as well as earned multiple awards for his work, such as the film Grand Prix at Cannes and a Grand Clio, made his feature film directing debut with Mortal Kombat. Since 1992, when Midway Games first made Mortal Kombat, the video game has gained a lot of popularity. Hollywood adapted the franchise into a film series in the late 90s, Mortal Kombat, the first installment, was released in 1995, and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the sequel, was released in 1997. If you are not familiar, let's recap a little bit. Now we shall end this prophecy once and for all. The Mortal Kombat competition is a conflict between Earthrealm and Outworld, in which the Earthrealm champions must stop the evil forces of Outworld from enslaving humanity. After noticing that Cole Young shares a dragon mark with the other candidates from Earth Realm's champions, Jax Briggs strikes down the struggling MMA fighter. The champions are under attack from Sub Zero, an ice powered assassin who killed Cole's ancestor Hanzo Hasashi and his family centuries earlier. Sub Zero freezes Jack's arm and leaves him for dead while on his mission to kill the champions. The release of Mortal Kombat was delayed by COVID after it took decades to reach the screen. It's highly unlikely that a sequel would be released on the big screen in the same period of time. If the original's production is any evidence, a reasonable turnaround of a couple of years wouldn't be unexpected, even allowing for a longer post-production period than McCoy's original four-month filming schedule. Therefore, it's possible that 2023 won't be unrealistic there are now rumors that multiple Mortal Kombat sequels and spin-offs, in addition to the already confirmed Mortal Kombat 2, are in the works. That's mainly because the movie's HBO Max launch will be one of the biggest in the history of the service, which means Warner Bros. will probably give Mortal Kombat 2 production top priority. Noob Saibot has been confirmed as one of the movie's characters. Joe Taslam, who played Sub-Zero in the 2021 film, will portray him. For those who are not familiar with the video game canon, Sub-Zero was defeated by Scorpion and then changed into the fatal shadow Noob Saibot, so it is a joy that he will be played by the same actor when he returns. Since he represents pure evil in the game series, fans won't want to miss his transformation from Ice Ninja to Evil Shadow. The son of Scorpion, Cole Young, played by Louis Tan, is also anticipated to make a comeback. Mikad Brooks as Major Jackson, Jax Briggs, Jessica McNamee as Sonya Blade and Chin Han as Shang Sun will all be back for the sequel. It has been confirmed. Chinook, Nightwolf, Shiva, Kotal Khan, and other characters are also on the fans' wish list. Since Cole killed Goro in the first Mortal Kombat movie, the scene was set up perfectly for Shiva to show up in the follow-up. The fact that Shang Sung will once again play the villain eliminates the need for Shinnok to appear in the sequel. Before we continue, we wanted to inform you that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. While many fans were disappointed that Johnny Cage wasn't in the first film, the arrogant fighting champion will appear in the follow-ups, as writer Jeremy Slater stated in an interview that he would include Johnny in the film. Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy has also been a name that has been circulating in the gossip columns. Studios reportedly ignored these social media trends and started courting Hunnam to play Johnny Cage in place, according to unconfirmed reports. The conclusion of Mortal Kombat foresees Shang Tsung's future attacks as he tries to use his outworld allies to avoid a fair Mortal Kombat tournament and his own eventual defeat. In response, Cole Young and the other Earth Realm champions who have survived are sent to find more champions. Cole Young starts by tracking Johnny Cage, a fan favorite from the series, to Hollywood. Sub Zero, Shang Tsung's most feared warrior, may be brought back to life in some way as he retreats to his own realm to lick his wounds and strengthen his own team. 
However, it has been confirmed that a Mortal Kombat tournament will actually be shown in a Mortal Kombat 2 movie, which will undoubtedly please many fans who were confused by its absence. The first Mortal Kombat was notable for not including a Mortal Kombat tournament. The first film, in what could be a long-running series, focused on the build-up to the tournament rather than plunging unaware audiences into it, but it was a clever way to generate hype for a follow-up film. The framing of Cole going for Hollywood to enlist Johnny to fight on behalf of the Earth Realm in Mortal Kombat is obviously intended as a significant tease of how crucial he will be in Mortal Kombat 2. The introduction of Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 2 is portrayed on a poster for the action film Citizen Cage, which is displayed on the wall in Cole's gym as one of the sequel's most eagerly awaited character additions. The idea that Cole is recruiting him to fight for the Earth Realm already sets the stage for Johnny to be required to learn the fundamentals of Mortal Kombat, making his arc in the film one that cannot help but be crucial to it. The Johnny Cage tease in Mortal Kombat couldn't have been any clearer. The movie ended with Cole Young traveling to Hollywood after spending the entire film without Johnny Cage's name being mentioned. Hollywood was implied to, which alone would have teased viewers about Johnny Cage's appearance in Mortal Kombat 2, but the scene also revealed a Johnny Cage movie poster. Considering how iconic the Johnny Cage character is, and as well as how much his absence was missed in the Mortal Kombat reboot, it is easy to guess that the character will have a major role in Mortal Kombat 2. It's interesting to note that Jeremy Slater, the author of Mortal Kombat 2, claimed the sequel's production team had taken feedback from the first film into consideration. It's unclear to what extent Mortal Kombat 2 will pay attention to Mortal Kombat's criticism, but there is no denying that Cole Young's replacement of Johnny Cage was one of, if not the most, heavily criticized aspect of the reboot. In Mortal Kombat 2, Johnny Cage could act as Cole Young's replacement and reverse Mortal Kombat's controversial decision. It is possible that Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 2 is a replacement for Cole Young as a way to undo the controversial decision made in Mortal Kombat. Cole Young might die in Mortal Kombat 2, or he might be sidelined and Johnny Cage would assume the spotlight. This could lead to a change in the focus of the story, which could affect Cole's role in it. Johnny Cage is a well-loved character, and it seems like his exclusion from Mortal Kombat 2 was a poor decision. Cole Young's role in the game is strikingly similar to Cage's, and this could be seen as a poor choice. However, after putting so much effort into creating this new character, it sounds like you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, seriously. After so much effort in his character, including his relationship with Scorpion and the Shirai Ryu clan, Killing Cole Young early on in Mortal Kombat 2 would be a waste. The ending of Mortal Kombat hinted that Bi Han will return as Noob Saibot, meaning that Cole Young and Scorpion might have to work together again to stop the Nether Realm champion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.